Hey folks, and welcome along to this HIT session today with myself. My name is Dave Cross, and I'm the Group Exercise Program Manager and Master Trainer for Pure Gym. So today's session is a HIT workout. It's purely body weight, but body weight based using some space on your floor. So please make sure that you've got as much space as you can possibly create today. There's going to be some lateral movements as well as forwards and back. We're focusing on speed, a bit of coordination, some agility, some power, explosive movements. But all of these movements put together today are going to focus on trying to get your heart rate high at those high intensity intervals. And then getting a quick opportunity to recover before we change the intensity again, but potentially changing the demand on the body. So it might be lower body, recovery, upper body, recovery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So have that in mind. Let's make sure that you've got enough space, you fit, you well, you've got some good footwear on to keep you gripped to the floor whenever you need to. And I think we should probably get started, all right? So let's do the usual. If you're tracking your activity, now is the time to press start and we can make a start now. Let's get warm, shall we? Let's crank up a bit of music. Time is on. Yeah, good. Okay, so when you're ready, and there's lots of modifications for this workout, but let's do what we can when we can. Let's jog. Comfortable to start off with, ish. <laughs> now the session, we're actually gonna only do about eight exercises, but those exercises are going to change, of course. We're gonna try and find lots of intensity when the right time comes. All right, from here, we're going to jack our feet out and in. Go. Out, in, out, in. Or squat on the spot at your own time. Heels are planted to the floor, knees out. All right, there's some space in front of you. Walk out, come to the hands. One push up, walk back, and stand. Do that again. Squat down, crawl forwards, one push up. Now the push up can of course be on your knees. So when you drop down, tap the knees to the floor. We're trying to get a good bend in the knees to warm up the legs. Do that again. Now if you feel good, go faster. Doesn't have to be on the beat. And what you will find is that the main component of the workout will be nowhere near the beat. All right, jog. Back to it. So the heart rate's starting to lift. It's a short session. So the warm up can be relatively short, but it needs to be very effective. Meaning, we need to warm up all the right muscles that we're gonna be working with so that we're prepared to get the most out of our session. Now take your feet wide, squat, knee, go. Now for the knee, I'd like you to lift it as high as you can whilst your chest stays up. That's preparing you for what we call a tuck jump. Mm. But not yet, not yet. <laughs> Four, three, back to the run, go. <sighs> I don't know about you, I'm starting to breathe heavy already. Do you guys worry when your watch buzzes at you? I do. Back to the squat knee. <sighs> Sit your hips down and back. Four, three. Is that enough, do you reckon? That's enough of a warm up. Beautiful. All right, shall we start? Yeah. Heart rate up already. Now, your working blocks for the first two rounds at least. We're going to focus on a 30-15. So we're training hard for 30 seconds and getting a good 15 second rest. That starts now, doesn't it? Is that just a warm up? Okay, so my time is all programmed in, ready to go. Now I'm only going to be keeping you for three minutes at a time. So four moves, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Four movements. So movement one. <laughs> And I'm gonna teach you this now. You're gonna do this whole sequence as many times as you can within 30 seconds. It's one jack, one tuck, one jack, one butt kick. So there's four parts, watch. One, 
two, three, four. Lots of jumping. If that's not for you, stay with a jack or one jack and a squat. Ready? <laughs> I think so. Okay. On the three beeps, we start. Jack, tuck, jack, butt kick. 30 seconds. Go. Out, in, up. Out, in, back. Now do this as many times as you can without stopping. Then when you need to stop, take a short pause. Maybe just squat or maybe just jack in between. Five seconds. Good. Hold. 15 seconds rest. Move two for 30 seconds. Walk out. Push up. Walk back. Stand. Go. Now you're trying to move your hands fast. You're trying to hit a fast push up. So that might mean that your knees need to be on the floor. And that's okay. Generating speed here. If it means dropping your knees to get better range, then great. But try not to avoid that big range. So stay on the knees if you need to. Stop. Okay, next move. It's a lateral leap. Try this. Leap to the side, lift the knee. Leap to the side, lift the knee. Always only one foot on the floor. Ooh. Go. Leap, lift. Leap, lift. Leap, lift. Now, if you prefer, two feet. Side up. Side up. Or, side step and lift. But if you're taking the low impact option, do this fast. Ten seconds. <sighs> Push off from the side. Rest. Back down to the floor. Eight mountain climbers. Then reach both arms. Eight under. Reach one. Reach two. Go. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Reach one arm. Reach other arm. Go. Shoulders are forwards so that we're not too long in the arm here. We need to push forward, hands under shoulders. When you reach the arm, feel free to drop to the knee to get good speed as well as range. Three seconds. All right, stop there. That's block one, done. First four moves, sweating already. Next beeps. Take you to a minute rest. So that's your first four moves done. I'm about to go into the next four moves. Then we've got some knowledge. We've created knowledge which creates power. When you know how to do something, we can then do that something better, higher, faster, harder, whatever you need to do. Okay, so the last first move that you did was the jack tuck, right? Similar theory, only this time we do it in a plank position. And you're like, what? So watch, we've still got 30 seconds. Watch this. Hands under shoulders, strong. Plank position, strong. Four parts. Out in, tuck, the hips will go up. Out in, butt kick, the feet will go up. Yeah, so watch out behind you. Watch the mantelpiece, watch the coffee table, watch the cat, whatever you need to do. <laughs> 10 seconds, and that's your first move. Feet go out in, tuck, out in, butt kick. Let's do it. Go. Now, if it's needed, Jack, one knee, jack, other knee. And then touch the knees down. Take a second when you need to do it. 
the tuck. Bring your knees as close to your rib cage as you can. On the butt kick, it's okay to lift the feet in the air. Good. Rest, stand up. Okay, simple, just the footwork. Next 30 seconds, shuffle, shuffle, lunge. Shuffle, shuffle, lunge. It is pouring off me. <laughs> Woo! Go, one, two, three. One, two, three. Quick and high on the first two. Low and long on the third. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ha. Drop the back knee toward the floor. For less impact, a quick step back for the lunge. Five seconds. On your back. This one's great, watch this. One up kick, one crunch. Arms down, knees to chest, kick up. Fingers to temple, crunch up. Go. Lower abdominals, upper abdominals. Arms on the floor, knees to chest, and tuck the tailbone up. Then put the feet down and curl the upper abdominals. Now the up kick, try not to push into the floor with your hands too much. One more. Rest. Come to your feet. What? Corner to corner. Fast jumps. Ready? Narrow feet, chest up, small knee bend. Corner to corner, go. Shoulders back, chest up. Now go quicker, because you've got a minute rest after this. That's it, hold on. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Who says nice? Noise. Breathe. Resting completely. <sighs> okay, suck in some air right now. All right. Are you happy to do that again? Of course you are, because that's only been 12 minutes. Three of that was a warm up. You've only been working hard for a total of six minutes. Your two, three minute blocks. Look at that, look at that. Thank goodness I'm the only person that uses this space. <laughs> I get my town in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna go back to block one, move one. Footwork, jack, tuck, jack, butt kick. 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest. Starting in 10. Oh, looks like I'm crying. It's an emotional session today. That's it. Fast on your toes. Not very apartment friendly, this one is it? <laughs> At least the jovial music gets you through. Walk out, push up. Standing quickly or drop the knees for the push up, but try to crawl back and come up onto your toes, still standing strong. No jump. You need to save some energy, right? Just over five seconds. Oh. Lateral leap. 
Now, did you go single leg or double leg? Leap to the side, hop up, or two feet to two feet. Now, there's a little pause after you've landed the jump. That's to help you propel to the other side. Then lift the knee, pause, propel, and lift. Propel, lift. All the work that the hips and the core is taking to stop you from falling over. All those hip stabilizers. Eight mountain climbers. That's eight in total. Two reaches. Go. Remember, on the reach, take your feet slightly wider and brace your abs. Stabilize and square your body toward the floor. And when you reach, be stronger in the supporting arm. Work through this. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Well done. Next beep you hear, you got your minute rest. And I can't see. Hopefully you can still see. Let me get my towel. Superb job so far, team. Oh, blue towel. Nailed it. Okay. Still got 40 seconds or so. How you doing? How you doing? I'm asking that and you've got the ability to comment underneath. Oh, I can't see, I'm too busy. Too busy in it. 30 seconds. Sixteen minutes in. Oh. <laughs> so second half of the movements starting on the floor. And then we'll hit that once more, all the way through again. Oh. Shall we? 10 seconds. Remember the four moves. Feet jack, knees tuck. Feet jack, heels kick. Yeah, that's right. Go. But each time, the hips have to lift for you to get the knees moving. Out, lift the hips. Out, lift the hips and the heels. Again, if it helps, jack one knee. Jack, second knee. 10 seconds. On your feet, shuffle lunge. Short, short, long. Short, short, long. High, high, low. Have a breakfast. Postures up. Postures up. Don't trust the front leg. Trust both legs. You get more power. Stay upright and plant the ball of the back foot into the floor. Five seconds. On the floor. Up kick, crunch. Minimal push down into the floor with the hands. Maximal kick up. Go. The crunch. 
doesn't have to be big, but the crunch could be a reach of the arms up. You choose. Come on, hold on. Hold on. On your feet, corner to corner. Simple. 21 minutes nearly. Challenge. Don't come up. Stay low. So the middle point is the briefest touch. Is that a word? Briefest? Most brief. Fastest. <laughs> Lightest. Good. Good. Recover. One minute. Sip your water. Perhaps keep moving. I'm finding that my recovery is better in more of a half collapsed position. <laughs> ah. Nearly 22 minutes past. One more time through. One more time through. First four will be three minutes. Second four will be three minutes. Job done. But how well do you now know your moves, right? You've got lots of practice and some of you might have even needed that first circuit round to act as almost like a second warm up. Something for you to just get used to those movements. So that last big block of work might have been more effective. This last block of work will be the most effective. I'm giving you the thumbs up, but I'm not sure if I'm giving myself. Okay, first move, the jack, the tuck jump, the jack, the butt kick. Let's see if I can count this right. There's a build there with the music, isn't there? There it is. There it is. Five seconds. Go! You don't have to jump high. Just take your feet off the floor one centimeter. And when you pull the knees up higher, it looks like you're jumping higher. Watch. But look at my head. It's hardly moving. <laughs> Five seconds. Oh. Walk out push up. I urge you to do your push ups on your knees unless you know you've got good speed. The key is fast hands. Walk your hands really quickly along the floor. So fast that you barely touch the floor. And after the squat, you just straighten the push up. <laughs> 10 seconds. Go. Oh. No. No. Lateral. Lift. Power to the side. Power to the top. Then absorb the landing. Or two feet, two feet. Lots of jumping today, so brace your abs. Ah. Come on. Come on, come on. Five seconds. Eight mountain climbers, two reaches. 
Who can remember this now? Or tap your toes. If you only want to do four and then reach, your body might be starting to give way. And that's great. You're pushing those boundaries. So when you push those boundaries, when you reach those thresholds, that's when you push the threshold further and further and further away. <laughs> rest. It's your last minute rest. I'm sorry if all you can hear is me breathing. I say that every time nearly. But I'm breathing heavy, help me. <laughs> help. Now you can't really see from there, but my face is bright red. And I can't see it either, but I can feel it. The whole head's throbbing. All right. <laughs> Okay, you're looking at me for inspiration now, aren't you? Yeah, don't crawl along the floor, Dave. Inspire. 10 seconds. Final block of work, three minutes of effort. Plank, jack tuck, jack butt kick. <laughs> to make this work really well, to know that you're bracing your abs, try to have your feet touching the floor as lightly as you can. Prove to me that you've got good control. To prove to your neighbors, downstairs or beneath. Prove you can control. <laughs> On your feet. Shuffle lunge. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Did I say slow? Quick, quick, quick. But up, up, low. <laughs> Go. Now don't let speed jeopardize your range. Come on. You're fast approaching your last 90 seconds of work. Five seconds here. Up kick, no, up kick, crunch. Heels to ceiling. Do you remember these up kicks from last week? We did these on Thursday, didn't we? That was a part of our abs workout. Ah. And they're still a bit sore. Ah. Ah. Come on. Oh. Last 30 seconds, team. On your feet. Just do it. Do it without me. <laughs> corner jump. Corner to corner. You've got this. I haven't, you have. You have. Help me. Keep going to help me. 15 seconds. Last 10. Next three beeps are going to be the best beeps you've heard all day. That's your half an hour. Keep your feet moving. Oh, wow.
Thank goodness I'm not on again till Wednesday. Rest day tomorrow. <sighs> All right, let me turn down the tunes. A little stretch. Oh my goodness me. All right, roll your shoulders. Whole body is really firing up now, isn't it? Buzzing away, buzzing. Open your arms, little chest stretch. You can keep your feet moving. Whether it's to help you bring your heart rate back down safely, or whether you've just got that fidgety disposition. <laughs> Reach forwards, upper back stretch. Try to pull your shoulder blades apart. Oh, wow, I'm already looking forward to my lunch and my tea, dinner. Do you say lunch and dinner or dinner and tea? Pick up one foot. I've got a theory. It's lunch and dinner, isn't it? Because otherwise, what's brunch? Breakfast and lunch, isn't it? Yeah, nailed it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh, I'm really hungry now. <laughs> Change legs. <sighs> Such a good job today. And I hope you're staying with us and I hope you're staying strong and positive. Getting your daily steps in, getting your daily exercise in. Staying safe. Quick stretch for the hamstrings. Now take both feet slightly wider than your shoulders. Little turn out of the toes. Start with a bend in the knees and just reach down toward the floor. Hands can stay on the thighs, come to the shins, toes or ground. And then really slowly, progressively, straighten your legs by lifting the hips. And if they won't straighten, bring the hands back to your shins or your thighs. Ooh, a brunch. Nope. <laughs> okay, really slowly. Roll yourself up. Shake out. Stay mobile for a good half an hour, 45 minutes after this. Keep yourself moving, hydrate, refuel, do what you need to do. Enjoy the rest of your day. Or if you're catching this on demand, I hope you enjoyed the workout and we'll see.